Yo, what's up guys, I'm Instack here. Welcome back to another video. And today, I'm gonna be demonstrating Mac OS 12.5 Monterey running on this early 2009 MacBook. Now I know you guys haven't seen this in quite a long time, so I thought, why not just bring it back? So here we are. So before I get started, I do wanna go over the specs. This has an Intel Core 2 Duo. P7350 running at 2 GHz. The graphics card is an NVIDIA GeForce 9400M with 256 MB of uh, video RAM. It's GDDR2. The RAM, it has 4 GB of RAM running at 800 MHz. It's DDR2. This originally came to uh, 2 GB of RAM, 667. However, I installed 4 GB of RAM in 800 MHz. And the hard drive is 320 gigabytes. It is a 5400 RPM drive. I probably could be the first one running Monterey on a, a 5400 RPM drive, but again, they probably could be many other people, many other people that did it before me. So, <clears throat> sorry, but sorry guys, I'm not feeling well today. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. So I'll go ahead and turn it on. Sorry guys, uh, screws. You know, sometimes it can be a bit shaky, so. And here it is, an open core. Just boot off of it. Sorry guys, it's a little blurry. There we Does take a while to boot. I'm not running this off an SSD. On an SSD, it would probably it probably would have been much faster. So, it took like two hours to install Monterey on this. You know, I thought since I'm feeling a little bit better, uh, why not just make this video and get it over with? Oh, I'm just gonna cut through this part. I'll be right back once it finishes booting. And we are back. So see it booted. Just go ahead. I actually created a user account called Monterey just for testing. So yeah. Very good. Let's type, type in the password here. No, I don't want to open the applications. Sorry about the Discord ping. And here we are. Oh, 
Okay, so here we are. Go ahead and open up the. Ring in the video in play. There we go. Takes a while. So here we are with the specs. Don't know why. Uh, the graphics card is uh, not picking up, but whatever. You know, it's probably new displays. So, there you go, Mac OS One Ray. Core 2 Duo, 4 gigs of RAM. There we go. So, nothing too special. Memory, support resources. So, Basically, you know, right off the bat, right clicking does not work on this model. It does it also does not work on the mid two thousand nine MacBooks. So basically, you will need to plug in an external mouse. <clears throat> so here's one right here. It could be any generic. This is actually a generic one. It's like I, don't know, I pay like ten bucks for it on Amazon. So that's kind of weird. So, hold on, guys. I do have another mouse. So this one. And, oh, there we go. There we go. <clears throat> so, yeah, right clicking on this mouse, you can see works. So. Now, so what's also kind of funny is that if you go into the battery right here, it actually does say serv service recommended. Although I'm not sure Apple would service a 13-year-old MacBook <clears throat> today. Launchpad. I installed... Three test applications. I installed Pages, Open, uh, Black Magic, and Chrome. Go ahead and open up Google Chrome here. It's taking a while to open here. Already probably gonna work stuff. Sure, whatever. So Chrome works here. Though it's taking a bit a while to load. See compared to my uh, compared to like a Mac that has an SSD, probably like a 2012, probably any of any of those later Macs. Uh, those are probably good for Monterey. But probably sure these, even though it's slow, I guess you could technically use Monterey on this MacBook, even with the SSD, it'll probably be much faster. <clears throat> but I don't have a, a NES, I don't have a SSD lying around at the moment, so yeah. All right, let's go ahead and open up my YouTube channel real quick.
by 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 actually using the uh, external mouse because I believe on um, Mac OS Sierra or higher on the MacBook 5.2 series, it thinks of the mouse as like a generic optical mouse. So yeah, that makes sense. So I'll go and open up the video here. Open up the latest one. The one the wire. So, I believe uh, you could technically try to play 720p on here, but I'm not sure. So, shut up. This is a, so, Monterey has this new quick build thing. But, as you can see, it's probably. Now, this thing can, I believe, play up to 720p 60 regularly. I believe on 1080p 60 frames per second, it would kind of cause some buffering. But, as you can see, it works. Oh. So. Is a long no, it works. So, you could, okay. you could, you could do 720p uh, recording on this, a 720p video playback. <clears throat> so, you know, it works. It's just fine. Going to websites like Twitter, you could technically get around it. You, it could also be useful. Mark it up right now, cause. But yeah, so Twitter, so basically, um, you know, I don't know what version this is, but okay, I get it. whatever. So we got version one hundred five, <clears throat> which is like we the latest version, but. You know, I believe with a, like a decent browser, because Chrome did recently, because Google did recently drop support for El Capitan and Sierra, which renders this MacBook, and I believe a lot of other El Capitan Macs useless, because basically, you know, there's no more security updates. Now, Chrome 49, which is the latest version for Mac OS 10.6, 10.7, and 10.8. And also the latest version for Windows XP and Vista. <coughs> Sorry guys, but that I believe has been on support for several years. So <coughs> yeah. But yeah, YouTube playback. It you could do 720, you could it can play 720p videos just fine. But you know. Probably won't play 1080p. It can do 60 frames per second playback too. That works, <clears throat> as you just saw. So, open up another app here. I'll minimize this. Why not? Now, keep in mind that Monterey does drop support for uh, 32 bit apps and games so if you really like want steam support you're gonna have to install el, uh, you'll see el, el capitan i think el capitan could get you through <clears throat> a lot of games so basically if you like try to install let's say like half-life 2 or portal or any other very two-bit app for that matter simply will not run No, yes, I do know 12.6 is out, but I'm not really barred to update to it. This can take forever on a uh, hard drive. I would have to run Open Core again. <clears throat> it could take a while. I don't know why. Once, two. So, here it is. Okay, hold on, Nick. 70 is a
make that a little bit smaller. <clears throat> so yeah, it says so there's like a little bit of lag, but I guess it's usable. So I'll go ahead and open up activity monitor. <clears throat> Now, if you're worried about Boot Camp Assistant, it is on here. However, you cannot run. Uh, see, it does not. So, this version allows you to install 64 bit versions of Windows 10. But, however, this thing can run up to Windows 7 32 bit. You could try 64 bit on this. I've tried Windows 7 uh, Professional on here, it worked just fine. And uh, Windows set Windows 8.1 Pro as uh, <clears throat> both work fine on here, but no Windows 10 will probably not run that well on a Core 2 Duo. So opening up Activity Monitor, <clears throat> wait to get memory. You can see we we already have like 1.2 gigabytes free, which. It's kind of not that good. If I'm going to CPUs to just see, we are. <coughs> or we just saw it. I don't use it. Use it one hundred percent CPU usage. <coughs> so, yeah. kind of not usable. But yeah, so the red page is twelve point one. So, you know, I guess that you could get around it. So, basically, you know, it's good for web browsing if you want, like, if you want to like, check out. <clears throat> so, basically, um, it is good for. So, basically, so. Over, so the conclusion is, would I recommend installing Mac OS Monterey on an older Mac or an unsupported Mac? <clears throat> the answer is, I guess if you want to, I know, I guess people just do it because they want to keep their Macs running. <clears throat> so I guess they just want to do it. However, I don't really recommend it since, you know, if, you, if you're not using an SSD, like, I am not using an SSD here. Also, you know, the performance, it'll probably be slow. <clears throat> so basically, you know, on Monterey, you can't run a lot of games or games on here. Basically, if you want, like, a good gaming thing, I would recommend going with Windows 7 or Mac OS 10.9. <clears throat> slash 10.10. So... So, also it's still another test app called Black Magic Speed Test. So, basically it's kind of very slow, it's like barely. Because they can't even do it at all. It's just, it's just a waste of time. But, so, this is, by the way, for our novice version 3.4.2. Alright, well that's pretty much about it for this video. <coughs> So, basically, on some Macs, you will suffer, uh, you know, uh, hardware issues. Um, I don't really recommend it unless, you know, if you can't, if you can't really afford to upgrade or, you know, pr pretty much maxed out a Mac or something. But, again, I really wouldn't recommend it unless you want to try it. But, so, yeah, that's pretty much about it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry for my voice. I know I'm clearly not feeling really well, but I decided to make this video out because to really to make this video anyway because you know I really just didn't have time and basically no, I, I don't want to be too late to for this, so I decided just to make it. But again, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to comment, be sure to like this video, and be sure to hit the subscribe button. And turn on this post notification for if you want future videos like this one. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.